Occipital neuralgia is a nerve compression disorder that occurs at the base of the skull and the back of the neck from the C2 and C3 nerve roots that then exit behind the neck and travel up to the top of the back of the head. The causes can be from a whiplash injury, can be from a concussion type situation where you strike your head against something which frequently will also cause a whiplash. Ganglion cysts pressing on the nerve or it can cause by tight muscles pressing on the nerve. And there are sometimes we don't know exactly why it occurs. The pain starts at the base of the neck and extends to the back of the head. Occasionally patients will feel like there's something literally running through their head from the base of the skull out the eye like a javelin um, going through their head or they'll feel like a horn that goes up from the back of their head to their, uh, to their forehead. This is a debilitating disorder uh, if not treated and controlled. Uh, the pain can be quite intense. Occipital neuralgia can be um, evaluated by palpating gently the back of the skull and there are three branches of the nerves that can be pinched on each side. One is the greater occipital nerve which is, the lar is the, typically the largest of the three and that nerve takes up most of the space in the back of the scalp and up to the back of the head. Then there is the uh, lesser occipital nerve which is also involved at times but it's more lateral, it's closer to the ear away from the midline and it's just basically at the base of the skull behind the ear. And then the third smallest nerve is called the third occipital nerve. The first one, the diagnostic nerve block, is where a needle with some medication, usually numbing medication, uh, is placed uh, along the course of the nerve that you think is pinched. And then if the pain goes away and the appropriate area that the nerve travels to goes numb, for instance the back of the head, um, then that is considered a positive, successful nerve block to make a diagnosis one could then subsequently have a therapeutic injection which is performed with uh, usually a local anesthetic that makes things numb but also a steroid of some sort along the course of the nerve where the suspected compression is located. As a peripheral nerve surgeon, there are a couple options that can be performed for occipital neuralgia based on what the physical exam demonstrates. A combination of uh, techniques which primarily is based on the decompression or a nerve release of the greater occipital nerve, which is again the larger of the nerves. And then there is a nerve decompression or possibly a nerve resection, which means a nerve removal of the th smaller nerves such as the third occipital nerve or the lesser occipital nerve. In rare refractory cases who failed a decompression, some options will include removing the nerve. We usually quote about a 85% uh, success rate in uh, dropping symptoms uh, at least 85 percent. This can be a very successful procedure. Some patients are completely cured. Others uh, have less successful outcomes. It is based on the patient's mechanism of injury, how severe their injury was before the operation. It's based on how long the symptoms have been going on prior to being referred for surgical manipulation. Uh, and a number of other issues that can affect the outcome of these procedures. Typically, um, the soreness from the operation from manipulating the back of the head and neck muscles can take up to about four to six weeks to recover. Typically, within the first two weeks, most patients are able to move their head from side to side without too much difficulty. Overall, 
The treatment for occipital neuralgia can be very successful in the appropriately referred patient who has physical evaluation that is a, uh, consistent with the disease, that responds very well to diagnostic blocks, and have not responded to the other less invasive procedures.